message that we want the government to hear loud and clear. And that is that to contemplate using nuclear weapons, which would kill tens of millions of civilians and destroy huge swathes of this beautiful planet, is both illegal and immoral. We're here to say stop hiding behind the rhetoric of pretending this is about deterrence. We should call it how it is. Nuclear weapons are weapons of mass destruction. And that's why we say so loudly and clearly that in seeking to replace our nuclear weapons, this government is in breach of international law. We say stop Trident now. And we know that Trident is a Cold War relic. It is a reckless vanity project that makes us less safe, not more safe. It makes us less safe because of accidents and miscalculations. It makes us less safe because it sends a message to the rest of the world that security depends on nuclear weapons. And yet, can we really have any moral authority to lecture other countries against seeking to acquire nuclear weapons if we are replacing our own? And do we really think the world is going to be a safer place if every nation has nuclear weapons or if no, we no member states have nuclear weapons? The answer is clear. Our government is acting as a rogue state and we say not in our name. But you know, the shocking truth is that right now ministers are boycotting a UN process of multilateral nuclear disarmament. Right now in Geneva there have been 120 countries that have come together to negotiate a nuclear ban treaty. And our government is refusing to take part in that process. The world has banned biological weapons and chemical weapons. The world has banned landmines and cluster bombs and we are here to say the world has got to ban nuclear weapons too and our government's position on this is absolutely unacceptable. Now you've heard from others about the obscene cost of these weapons. They are a massive diversion of resources from what could best keep us safe. Because if this government was serious about security, they would be investing money in avoiding climate change. If this government was serious about looking after its population, it would be tackling the poverty and inequality right across the globe that makes this world less secure, not more secure. And if this government was serious about jobs, it would be massively investing in the green economy and the welfare state. That will create millions more jobs than nuclear weapons ever will. So finally, I just want us to remember literally what is at stake today. With this decision, let us not forget that just one Trident nuclear submarine is carrying enough enough uh, kill power to kill more than 10 million civilians, more firepower than all the weapons that were fired in World War II. That is what we're talking about here today, and that's why you're here today. And I just want to thank you for being here to say that it does make a difference. And to end with that wonderful quote from Arundhati Roy, because when I look at you, I know that another world is not only possible, she's on her way. Thank you very much.